Crocodile gulps down Australian doggy. That furry paw and leg this crocodile is munching on belonged to a one-year-old Australian Kelpie dog named Rusty. <laughs> Over the weekend, Rusty was playing at the water's edge near his home in Queensland, Australia, when he was suddenly taken by a very, very hungry crocodile. <laughs> Queensland lawmaker Shane Nuff released the photo, saying it could have been a child. Now he's calling for a crocodile call. But there are some 100,000 of these mighty reptiles across Australia. They're made of pure muscle and weigh around half a ton. According to local reports, there have been 34 fatal crocodile attacks on humans since they became a protected species in 1971. And 10 of those occurred in the last six years. Do you think that's a high enough number to begin a selective slaughter on man-eating crocodiles? Tell us below. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more about the dangers of these silent, lurking, and willing to eat anything predators. Crikey! Man munched on by giant crocodile. A 47 year old man was killed by a crocodile in Australia's Northern Territory on Thursday afternoon. The man was crossing the rather aptly named East Alligator River in Kakadu National Park with two women. The group are believed to be from a nearby community of indigenous people. Noticing the man didn't make it across the river with them, the two women immediately informed the police, saying they were pretty sure he'd been nabbed by a crocodile. The man's body was found about two kilometers downstream. Next to him sat a fat, giant crocodile that seemed like the prime suspect. Police shot and killed the massive reptilian soon after they found the man's body. Northern Territory Police said the area is a known habitat for saltwater crocodiles, which can grow to be three or four meters long. Signs are posted in the area warning people not to enter the water. Crocodile attacked unsuspecting couple going for late night swim. This couple in Kariba, Zimbabwe was enjoying a midnight swim when an uninvited guest decided to show up and crash their private pool party. On October 27th, the two lovebirds, who had reportedly just met a few hours earlier that day, were taking an evening dip. Pretty sexy first date. Things must have been getting hot and heavy, but they weren't the only ones with a late night appetite. Nile crocodiles are ambush predators, known for their supreme patience and understanding of when to strike. Just as the boy toy was making a move on his new lady, the croc made his, diving into the water and going straight for her. As the video shows, the dude's instinct was to leap out of the pool and run to safety. What a guy. Meanwhile, the woman tried to get out, but the croc is king in water. Its sharp teeth cut through the flesh on her shoulder, back, and elbow. Somehow, she escaped serious injuries. Lucky for her, the croc was only a little guy, because once those jaws clamp down, they're almost impossible to pull apart. After enjoying the pool to himself for a while, the crocodile was captured by the parks department and relocated to a game dam far away from humans. Man screams in fear as boat approaches crocs in Everglades. Watch as this small canoe in Everglades National Park in Florida approaches two ferocious American crocodiles. The person in the bow of the boat seems to be too distracted with their camera to notice just how close their paddle is getting to the crocs resting in the mud. The man in the back gives a couple warnings oh before completely Jesus, losing it and screaming in fear at the terrifying reptiles. <laughs> Sorry. American crocodiles can live to be up to 70 years old. Males grow as large as 13 to 15 feet long and weigh up to 2,000 pounds. They are considered an endangered species that is known to live in parts of southern Florida, Mexico, Central America, the Caribbean, and the northern part of South America. They are also reportedly less aggressive than other species of crocodiles and alligators, with only a few unverified fatal attacks on humans. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Indonesia may use crocodiles to guard maximum security inmates. Indonesia's anti-drugs chief, Budi Waseso, has come up with a brilliant idea of using crocodiles as prison guards for an island lockup that would house only death row inmates convicted of drug trafficking. 
Indonesia has some of the harshest penalties for drug trafficking, including death. The island where the prison would be hasn't been selected yet, but Waseso says he will search the archipelago to find the most ferocious type of croc and put as many as he can on the island. The use of crocs would certainly cut down on the number of corrupt prison guards and unruly prisoners alike. One valid reason for using crocodiles as guards is that they have no interest in taking bribes. And they wouldn't benefit from letting certain inmates escape. Waseso is quoted as saying, We will keep sending them food supplies every day, but they have to survive on their own. The crocodiles might not take money bribes, but they would probably turn their back for a flank steak. The plan sounds a little half-baked. The location and opening date have not been decided yet.